You know, is now the right time to buy a house in Greater Austin? With the Austin housing market showing a 13 year high in housing inventory, there's a lot to unpack. So stay tuned to learn the whole story behind this update so that you can make the right decision on whether or not now's the right time for you to buy in Greater Austin. Let's get started right now. Hi, I'm Vince Burgess, your Greater Austin real estate expert, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you get regular updates on all of Austin's real estate market happenings. Let's begin by understanding the 13-year high in housing inventory. The Austin Round Rock Doorstown area has seen a dramatic increase in housing inventory, reaching levels not seen since 2010. But what does that really mean for you as a buyer or a seller? Essentially, more homes are on the market, giving buyers more choices and potentially leading to more competitive pricing. For sellers, it means pricing your home right is more crucial than ever. You know, this Austin housing market update here in 2024 shows that after years of limited supply, the market is finally catching up with demand. You know, the rise in inventory is partly due to new home construction and a slight cooling in demand compared to the pandemic which you know fueled a buying frenzy here. If you're a buyer, this increased inventory means you can take your time, explore your options, and possibly negotiate better deals. For sellers, it's time to ensure your home stands out, whether it's through pricing, staging, or you know, highlighting unique features. Significant increase in housing inventory. You know, this week, the first part of August, the Austin housing market is witnessing a notable surge in inventory. As of August the 7th, uh, the total number of active listings has jumped to over 15,700, reflecting a 21.9% increase from the previous month. This increase marks a shift towards a, a balanced market with the months of supply now at approximately 4.8 months. This influx of homes is largely driven by several factors, you know, including an uptick in new construction and a wave of, of homeowners who are now ready to sell after holding onto their properties during the pandemic. The current inventory levels are the highest seen in over a decade, providing buyers a, a wider you know, selection of homes to choose from. Now let's look at what's driving the increase in housing inventory. You know, there are many factors that are contributing to this 13 year high across, you know, the whole Austin Metroplex. Um, firstly, it's the pace of new construction, as I mentioned a second ago. This is picked up with builders completing homes at a faster pace. This surge in new homes adds significantly to the overall inventory. Um, another key factor is the slowdown in the Austin rental market. Many potential buyers who were previously renting are now looking to purchase, especially as rent prices remain high, contributing to higher inventory levels. You know, additionally, as the effects of the pandemic wane, fewer people are urgently relocating, which is leading to more of a balanced market. Let's talk about the role of interest rates in the current market. You know, interest rates play a pivotal role in real estate and the Austin, you know, greater Austin area is no exception. As we move into the back half of 2024, interest rates have remained relatively stable, uh, but any fluctuations can significantly impact the market. Lower rates could stimulate demand, while higher rates might cool it off a little bit further. You know, so if you're wondering, you know, is now the right time to buy a house in Greater Austin, the current interest rates could be a deciding factor. For buyers, locking in a mortgage at a low rate can save thousands uh, over the life of the loan, and sellers should be aware that rising rates could reduce buyer demand, uh, making it even more important to price your home competitively uh, and market effectively. So what are some opportunities for investors in this Austin real estate market? You know, investors should pay close attention to the current market conditions in Austin. With inventory at a 13 year high, there may be opportunities to acquire properties at more favorable prices than in previous years. The Austin area remains a strong market for long-term investment due to its robust economy, you know, growing population and, and high demand for housing. So whether you are considering you know, flipping a property, investing in rental units, or holding onto a property for long-term appreciation, 
the current market conditions offer a ton of opportunities. However, investors should also be cautious and conduct your research. Uh, understand that the nuances of the Austin market is, is important and keeping an eye on economic indicators will help ensure investments are sound and profitable for the long term. So the big question is, should you buy or sell now? You know, with all the information about the high inventory levels, you know, the question remains, should I buy now? Should I wait? Should I sell my home you know, here in the greater Austin area? The answer depends on your unique situation and goals. For buyers, the increased inventory and slower price growth make now a potentially good time uh, to enter the market. You'll have more options, possibly some more negotiating power. You know, for sellers, the market is still healthy, things are still selling, but it's important to approach you know, selling your home with a realistic mindset. Pricing and presentation will be key to attracting buyers. You know, so if I'm being completely honest, it's, it's a great time to be informed and strategic. Working with a knowledgeable real estate agent who understands the local market uh, can make all the difference in achieving your real estate goals. So reach out anytime. My information is gonna be here on the screen. We wanna be that trusted resource for you so you can buy and sell with confidence. So what's next for Austin's housing market? Looking ahead, what can we expect for the greater Austin housing market here in 2024 and into 2025? While the high inventory levels have created more of a balance, the market's future uh, depends on various factors, you know, including economic conditions, we have an election year here, interest rates, population growth, you know, the greater Austin real estate news and, and the market will continue to evolve and staying uh, updated is crucial. Buyers should remain vigilant for opportunities, especially interest rate drops, which can significantly impact your payment, or if there are new developments that offer attractive deals, as I mentioned earlier. Sellers should watch for any change in buyer demand and adjust their strategies accordingly. So in a nutshell, the Austin Round Rock Georgetown housing market is experiencing you know, significant transformation as we move through August of 24 into 25. While the market has shifted, Austin remains a desirable place to live and invest. Whether you're buying or selling, understanding the current conditions and being prepared for what's next will help you navigate the market successfully. If you wanna learn more about the Austin real estate market and, and, and the latest updates for a city or a specific neighborhood and what we can expect going into 2025, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that subscribe now button, follow me here on all my other socials, and also hit the like button, leave us a comment, we would love to interact with you if you have any questions. We wanna be that trusted resource for you so you can buy and sell with confidence. So if you're thinking about making a move to Austin or anywhere in Central Texas, or if you're just curious about the Texas real estate market, we'd love to chat, let's connect. I'll help you navigate the ins and outs of the market, and you can easily book a call with me through the link in the description below. Again, my name is Vince Burgess. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and we'll catch you on the next one.